In a surprising turn of events, UK Prime Minister Keir Starmer met global pop sensation Taylor Swift at her Wembley concert this summer. What sparked this high-profile encounter? Stick around as we unravel the details surrounding their meeting and the political controversy it ignited. The revelation that Sir Keir Starmer met Taylor Swift during her concert at Wembley on August 20th has raised eyebrows and led to intense scrutiny regarding the circumstances surrounding the meeting. Reports indicate that the Prime Minister and his family had a 10-minute conversation with the singer and her mother, Andrea Swift, after being gifted free tickets by Swift's record label, Universal Music Group. This interaction comes in the wake of significant media attention regarding Labour's involvement in securing VIP police protection for the pop star during her concert series in London. The backdrop to this meeting is fraught with controversy. Labour officials, including former Chief of Staff Sue Gray, allegedly negotiated directly with Swift's representatives about the singer's security, particularly following a series of violent incidents, including the tragic stabbings in Southport that occurred at a Taylor Swift-themed dance class. While Downing Street has consistently denied any direct correlation between the concert tickets and government pressure on the Metropolitan Police to grant Swift her blue light escort, the optics suggest otherwise. The decision to provide a motorbike convoy for Swift was ultimately made after interventions from senior labor figures, raising questions about potential conflicts of interest. In a statement, a spokesperson for Number 10 insisted that the decision regarding police protection is solely the responsibility of the Metropolitan Police, emphasizing that any discussions between the government and police concerning major events are legitimate and necessary. However, the timing of the tickets and the subsequent meeting with Swift have led many to speculate that these were indeed gestures of goodwill linked to her security arrangements. Starmer himself received four tickets worth approximately £2,800 for the concert, adding to the narrative that his presence was more than just a coincidence. The Prime Minister's involvement in the talks surrounding Swift's security has been further complicated by the acknowledgement that other government officials, including London Mayor Sadiq Khan and Home Secretary Yvette Cooper, were also present at the concert and engaged in discussions about ensuring the singer's safety. This raises an important question. Was this a simple act of fan admiration, or was it part of a broader political strategy to manage public perception amid concerns over security at high-profile events? As the controversy unfolds, Downing Street continues to emphasize that operational decisions regarding security are the prerogative of the Met Police. However, given the threats faced by Swift during her tour, particularly an incident in Vienna that led to her canceling performances, the government's interest in her security arrangements appears justified. Starmer's meeting with Swift coupled with the ongoing discussions surrounding her protection, paints a complex picture of the intertwining worlds of politics and celebrity. Moreover, as Sir Keir prepares to cover the cost of the tickets and hospitality received since taking office, including those for the Swift concert, it raises additional questions about transparency and accountability in government dealings. This incident adds another layer to an already intricate narrative, highlighting how the political landscape can intersect with celebrity culture in unexpected ways. So, what do you think about Keir Starmer's unexpected meeting with Taylor Swift at Wembley? Is this a case of harmless fun, or does it signal a deeper issue with government transparency? Share your thoughts in the comments below, and don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for more exclusive updates on your favorite celebrities and political news. Thanks for watching!